here we are, grinding up nine and a half pounds of Pilsner malt. Grinding it straight into the mash gun. Okay, so that is right about where we want it. I'm going to go ahead and pour this 12 quarts of water into my mesh. We're soaking evenly. And I don't create dough balls here. Okay, looks like this one stabilized a little bit hot. I want it around 122. Looks like it's stabilized around 131. That's okay. Not worried. But it's just not quite what I wanted for the protein rest. Okay, I've just added the second step. Four quarts of water at 185 degrees. Hopefully, this will raise the mash temp up to about 140, 145 degrees. And look at that. It worked. So I'm going to leave this sit for 40 minutes now. Okay, so about ready to add the next step. You see it dropped a couple degrees. And between 140 and 143. Okay, so I've added three quarts of 200 degree Fahrenheit water. That will hopefully bring it up to probably around 155. And we're just going to let that um, rest for about 20 minutes more before we do a mash out. Now this is the mash out portion. When I'm going to try to bring it up to 168 degrees, I've just added about four quarts of boiling water to this. So hopefully that will raise it up to the appropriate level. Okay, now I'm sparging out here. It's a nice color. Sparging with 170 degree water as slowly as I possibly can. Nice. So I'm about ready to throw these things in there. Have a whiff of that. Nice. Smooth. They are. Right at about the five minute mark. Get a little air. And we're going to get the 800 milliliter starter that I began about three days ago. The Czech Pilsner. Alright, 